Thursday, October 31st, 2019. Happy Halloween. Uh, it's the last day of the month. It's earnings season, and there's been so many uh, big moves today. And I had a horrible day to start the day. Just just terrible. Um, and I, it's this is one of the key attributes of tr day trading. Uh, that is probably one of the hardest things, the mental aspect. Um, that when you lose a trade, when something doesn't go your way, a lot of people either over trade after that trying to make up for it or they just get depressed and they just don't want to trade at all one or the other and you really have to just eliminate that last trade no matter what if it was a win or a loss you kind of just have to put it behind you so you can always focus on what's right in front of you and i've had a tough time with that but i'll show you the trade i messed up and then i made up for it later with with a nice nice trade um, but first off uh craft heinz i wanted to get into this stock while it was boom it had a nice jump uh, you can see it gapped up big time from um, on earnings uh, from uh, yesterday's close. And uh, earnings pushed it up a lot, so uh, about $2. And it, it was one of the ones, reasons I liked it is because it was right near that 200 moving average. So it had gapped up to around $30. And I thought that if it had momentum, if you could, if right at the opening, if it had that juice, it could probably push it close to the 200 moving average, which it did eventually touched it. I just couldn't pull the trigger on a uh, early trade. I just, I'm not good with these trades. I can't, I, I don't know where to put my stop really, because I, you'd have to put it really for me to be comfortable. I have to make a big stop and then I'd have to take much, uh, a fewer amount of shares so it was just tough to get in, but if you got in right at this opening five minute break here at 3050 ish, you could have ridden that all the way up to about 3217. So that was that was a nice move. I put a little air here thinking I'd get in for the second leg, maybe 3215. I'm glad I didn't because it kind of went below the 20 SMA, uh, but it then did move up a little bit. But now it's just kind of drifting. As soon as it got near that 200 moving average, is done. So the trade I took in the morning that uh, or when did I take it? Whatever it was, it came up on this uh, scan that I created, this low average volume. Uh, it's, a, it's a bad name for for, uh, for, for the scan because really what it is, is just stocks that usually do less than a million shares uh, a day, which is not that low. I mean, a million is, is a decent amount, but I, I kind of filter that, that those lower volume stocks out lower than a million in my other scan. So I made a scan just dedicated to stocks that do less than a million that are now trading higher than normal. And uh, one of the stocks that came up in here uh, was uh, HTGC. And you can see how this trade just went completely against me. So the reason I got into it, I looked at the candles here and it was it was moving up steadily over the last few weeks. You can see these nice little moves and it gapped up here. And I thought maybe it could make a big move continue, continuation, but you can see it had a big move in the morning and then it came back down. And that should tip me off that maybe all the people that were taking profits were kind of kind of done with it, and I thought it had another had room to kind of kind of make another leg up here, and it didn't. And I got in right at this pivot point. Just, just I hate when this happens. This is the worst. Get in here, and then it just collapsed. This look at this three red bar. It's almost like the market knows, and it just wants to kill me. And I just it it's just such a deflating thing to have happen to you when you're trading because it just means you did everything wrong there. I took a small trade even earlier in the day. That's why I had two losing trades and I made up for both of them later on with a nice trade. Um, and the, the one that I screwed up earlier was SNN. You can see this one against me. So this was another uh, gapper. It gapped down, which I should have been paying more attention to um, what was going on with the stock. So this one's gapped down. I found it in my gappers list. Uh, gapped down to 4369. I thought because it might have room to continue back up again, um, but I forgot that the 200 moving average is right here, and it kind of acts sometimes acts like a magnet for these things. If it's if it's moving near it, it might draw it closer. So um, I should have been prepared for that for a gap down closer to the 200 moving average. And uh, what happened was uh, it had a little dip here, and then it had two green bars, uh, almost engulfing here. Green bar here, and I said, okay, maybe. It's at the it's it's at the open again. Maybe it's gonna maybe it's gonna take a turn for the positive, and of course immediately it drops. If I had reversed my position right here at forty three fifty four, I could have ridden it down an entire dollar. Uh, but I'm not good at doing that and, and reading the changing of the direction very well. I just thought maybe it was gonna whip me out and then continue moving back up. Uh, but you can see this eight EMA kind of stopped right there, and I I just it was just bad. And if you look at the, there's some volume in the pre market too that I had to get through a little bit. 
Uh, not much. So it, just too much resistance. Bad, two bad trades. Uh, so really just a bummer. Just like I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything right. And then, so for the rest of the day, I kind of just had trade lock. I didn't want to trade any. That's what I usually do. I, I tend not to over trade. I do the opposite. I tend to trade less when I start doing worse. Uh, but then yum C, uh, which I've traded many times in the past. And, uh, it ended up being a great makeup trade for me. I made some money. I made, made back all of my losses for the day and then some, and you could see, Oh, and, and I should have stayed in it, but whatever. <laughs> I, can, I wanted to get out when I did just because I wanted to make sure that I was positive and had a little bit extra on the day. But you can see, I watched it early in the day. This was another um, gapping stock. Uh, let me zoom in on the... So uh, near the 200 moving average, meaning a lot of times it's stock can be in play because it tends to react to that. So it was up and then it gapped down a little bit. So it was around 44 yesterday to close, but it gapped down to about 43.65. So not a huge gap. So I wasn't sure what to expect, but when you watch it early in the day, it had a huge drop. And then it kind of came back to the ADMA. I saw that, it used it as resistance. So I was thinking of getting into a short right here at 41.83. Not a tremendous short. I could have taken it down about 40 cents and I didn't, I didn't take it. So right away I was a little, um, because I had, I think I had already messed up that earlier trade, and then I eventually messed up the other trade after this. But then you see it turned around. Now what happened here? The eight EMA crossed the twenty, right? Eight and the twenty cross up, using it as a support, and then I got in. Uh, so I got in right at forty-one ninety-two, below a whole number. So it made me a little nervous. I was hoping it wasn't going to hit its head on that, but it continued up real nicely, and then I partialed out a little bit at forty-two twelve. And then the rest of it at my target 4220. Uh, so I got out a little bit early, just a little bit less than half my shares. And then the rest of my shares I got at 4220. Now you can see, I really ended up. If I had not had those two losing trades earlier in the day, I probably would have waited. I would have just put my stop at break even once it got in the range, in, within 10 cents of my first target. Waited until it hit my first target, taken out some, and then just ridden it up, just just moving my stop up every like. 10 cents behind it as it moved up and I could have made this mark at 4244 which would have been uh, over 50 cents from where I got in but that's what happens when you have losing trades they really affect the way you trade and they shouldn't but that's the, one of the hardest things to overcome is, is just to get get past that because uh, this was really a nice um, uh, a smooth move for this for this stock it was using that eight EMA really well as resistance so it made sense that once it broke that eight EMA it was going to use it as support and I, I, I was just so nervous. It was just gonna bounce. It was just gonna completely reverse on me, and then really take take away any chance of me having a positive day. But I still made my money back from my losses, and a little bit money after that. So uh, I still was positive today. Just now, I now I'm looking at it. And I'm starting to cry a little bit here because I could have made a lot more. I mean, I got out at 42.20, and it's already back. It's already up to 42.50. It's up 30 cents from where I exited. So I could have had another 30 cents worth of of profit. Um, on my shares, my remaining shares, but you know what? I'm not tremendously upset because I had a positive day. So something to learn from. Got to still remember to keep the emotion out of it and 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 just trade based on what's in front of you. So that was it. Those are my trades. Yum C, uh, SNN, uh, terrible, just absolutely terrible, and HTGC, also terrible. Um, but in the end, as long as you're positive for the day, you can, uh, sleep, sleep easy. So that was it. Today's the last day of the month. Tomorrow, um, probably going to trade light just cause it's Friday. It's the first day of the month. I don't want to go crazy, but, um, it is earning season. So you have to kind of just keep your eye out for anything good moving. And this was, this was definitely, definitely one of them. Yum C ended up being a great, uh, earning trade pl uh, play for me. In fact, Actually, the earnings wasn't even today. It was, um, I think it was yesterday or two days ago. Um, but you could have traded this a number of times today. You could have traded this leg down this, or waited all the way till bound out. You could have traded the bounce. I mean, this this is the kind of stocks that I like to look for. The other thing that I, the reason why I got in this is you can see the, the v, VWAP. When I got in, I was expecting it to kind of grab. It's almost like the 200 moving average on daily. You expect it to kind of gravitate towards that VWAP once it's moved far away enough down. So once you get that cross of the 8 and the 20 SMA, the 8 EMA and the 20 SMA, and you, and you get that cross up, and it's starting to make, you know, it's got the, the VWAP in its sights, uh, it makes for a 
you know, a good play in my in my estimate, in my opinion. Um, and it obviously did because it made it right back up to the uh, the 20. I mean, right up to the view app, and then broke through it. So um, this was a good one. Anyway, that's it for today. Hopefully tomorrow uh, we'll have more trades to show.